Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to install RAM on your laptop. Um, this laptop currently has uh, two slots of RAM that you can put in, and it only has one chip, which are these things right here. This is a chip. Um, it, it only has one chip of four gigabytes of RAM, as I will show you right here. Actually, no, PC info. So you can see right, right there, four four gigabytes, three point four four gigabytes usable. So the operating system and the graphics card and everything uses about half a gigabyte. So now I'm going to be showing you how to add eight of them to it. Now, um, before we do that, uh, we need to do do a couple things. Since we're dealing with electricity, we need to First, go up to an outlet um, and shock ourselves if you have any electricity on you. You know, get all the electricity out because the last thing you want to do is fry, fry the circuit on something. And second, wash your hands and dry them. Make sure they're dry. Don't have any water residue. And, yeah. And also, you need to um, take the battery out. So, if you can hear that, it's my dog. He's being an annoying little butt face. So, you need to take the battery out, which you can do that. If you have an HP like me, all you have to do, there's two little tabs right here. You just un unlock it and pop it right up. And it should, batter the battery should be able to come out. So now if you open it and uh, try and do something with it, it's not going to work because there's no battery inside of it. So now this is your little tray. Oh, finally got my dog to stop barking. Okay, so we can take our screwdriver, this, and undo these two screws. So now we can just pop this tray off. There's little tabs, and this is what it reveals. Oh, and oh, and by the way, when you're um, putting this in, this little metal part right here. Uh, this metal thing, do not touch that. That's that's what that's what actually connects it. So hold it by the sides like this. And I'm just gonna go ahead and take it out of the package. All right. So we can get this out. Ooh. Oh yeah. By the way, this was uh, 70, 70 or 80 bucks at Best Buy. I think it was 80 or something. This is the RAM. You want to hold it by the sides, preferably the. You want to. The best way to hold it is probably by those these two indents right here. If my phone will focus. These two indents right here. You want to hold it by that. And on the RAM tray, there is little tabs right here and right here that you need to pull apart to get it out. But to get it in. You should just be able to slide it in uh, just like that. And then you should be able to just push down. I need to get this wire out of the way. So freaking black wire. Alright, I think that was my Wi-Fi. Now I need to make sure I'm putting this on right because there's only one way it goes in. Um, I think it's the side with the sticker since the other one has a sticker right side up so can go ahead and put that in if it will come on oh oh okay so this little oops I actually touched it there's a little groove right there if my camera will focus that little groove will only go in one way so you know so right there that little thing right there that's the groove that it goes into so it should just slide right in and you can push down oh there we go I don't know if you heard that because I was talking but there was a click so now I can take this black wire put it back on to whatever this is it should just go on that's my Wi-Fi. There we go. That black wire is on. Now we can 
take this and snap it back on come on god damn it all right so now we can take the laptop down to the ground cuz i had it on a chair we can take our battery and put that back on Okay, it goes this way. I had it right before. Now the battery is pretty easy. You just throw it on. Boom, done. And you make sure you want to lock it at the end by sliding it back to the left. And now we can open this. Alright, so I just turned it on. It had to boot up for about five minutes. Um, so now, if we go to our Windows 8 interface, and we go to Settings, we should have about 11.5 gigs of RAM because the operating system takes up a little bit. So PC and Devices. Ooh, let's hope for the best. Yeah, buddy. All right. Just like that. 12 gigabytes of RAM, 10.9 usable. So, yeah, now we have 11 gigs of RAM. Because the point one doesn't really matter. But 11 gigs of RAM usable. That's that that's uh, that's awesome. So, yeah. With, uh, games will run smoother. You can do video editing. All that good stuff. All because of this. Yeah, that's it for this video, guys. Rate, comment, subscribe um, for more videos. Peace.